Greetings, friends and strangers alike. Welcome, one and all. I'm your friendly Woodland Elf, and welcome back to Fallout 4. It's been a while uh, since I last put up an episode of this, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. There's a couple of reasons for that. My ongoing battle with my... <laughs> uh, being overly self-conscious when recording with people in the house, that's well known at this point. I've mentioned that in almost every single video I say. Uh, almost every single video I do. Well, not every single one, but you know what I mean. There's that, coupled with the fact that... Honestly, I've not been that motivated to play this game lately. I've been more motivated to put out Minecraft and Final Fantasy VII videos. Um, Minecraft, just because it's Minecraft, it's... I guess the most popular, and I really enjoy it. And Final Fantasy VII, because I really want to get that, get that game finished. To be honest, uh, I don't just want to abandon it, I want to finish it. So, I want to, I kind of prioritise that a little. Um, and, I don't know what it is, but maybe I played Skyrim too much, but I got... I just didn't feel motivated to play this game, because I felt a little burned out, almost, I guess. But, uh, we're putting that aside, we're going to get back into it. Because <clears throat> I haven't really given this game that much of a chance. Let's be honest, I've played like... Oh, a couple of hours, so we're getting back into it. So as you can see, since last time, things are different around here. I've pretty much torn down anything that was in the way. Any of the, the destroyed houses, destroyed trees, lampposts, anything in the street, it's all gone, it's all scrapped. Because I wanted to clear this place out and start making a settlement. But we're going to scrap that idea, to be honest. Um, I may start up at the settlement here properly, start building defences and all that kind of... Lovely stuff, but I think we're going to leave that a little bit later. And we're going to get on with the story a bit more, I think, first. Because I think that would be more fun. But uh, anyway, uh, I've moved. This was, this chemistry station was around back of the house. I've shifted it over here. Cooking station was by a house over there. I moved it over here. Um, that was already here. Uh, put a couple of water pumps here just to push up the water level. I'm not sure. It's not tab, but there's some button that brings up like the settlement like the amount of people you've got, how much water, how much food, all that I pretty much just put those here to put the water above the level we need and same with the food, we've got quite a few uh, we've got some mutt fruit mute fruit, whatever you say that is, some melons some gourds I think, I don't know but she's taking care of that uh, also, I figured out there is first person in this game, and I'm an idiot. You just either, you can either scroll out with the mouse wheel, or press V. And look at me, we've changed our attire, have we not? We're no longer rocking that awesome tux. We're dressed for the wastelands. And we look like, um, Corvo from Dishonored with that mask on. <laughs> uh, what else has changed? Um, I've kind of, you'll notice this gun. We've got a sniper rifle. I went back into town, into whatever that town down there is called, I honestly forget. And I found this, this uh, pipe sniper, <laughs> pipe rifle, whatever it's called. Uh, there we go, bot action sniper rifle. I upgraded it a little. I've also upgraded this, the laser musket. I found a shotgun at some point too, upgraded that. And I've got <laughs> a really awesome pipe pistol. <laughs> Yeah, it's not that good a gun, but I don't care. I'm going to figure this crap out myself. And we've got the 10mm pistol, which looks like the Sorkin pistol from uh, Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> anyway, uh, one. There we go, there's my sniper rifle. So, I, I also fixed up my armour a bit. I noticed the arm was missing on the last one. But yeah, that's it, that's it. Four minutes into this episode and I've done nothing but update you guys on what's been happening. So let's get on with it, shall we? I said I'm not going to really use this place as a settlement right now. I may do later. May do an episode on it, may build it up off screen. For now, I want to go find Preston to see if we can advance the story. I love that this gun's got a nail sticking out of the scope, by the way. It's such a random thing. Preston, dear, where are you? I want to converse. Preston! Um, hey, anyway, <coughs> I am glad you're here. Yeah, thanks, Preston. Is that it? And I hope you don't mind, uh. but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. Oh no! I'm still hoping there are many men out there, somewhere. 
The only chance to start rebuilding the Minuteman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Yeah. The trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help us <sighs> the settlement? Sure. Well, what kind of help? help do they need? Sounded like the usual. Oh, of course. Raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. I'd be glad to help. That's yeah, that's gonna help. I'm fine. The men and men can use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Yep, yeah, I've uh, the reason I laughed back there is this game's obviously been out a little while and there's a lot of memes surrounding it because of course there is. And one of them is Preston popping up constantly asking people to um help out another settlement. <laughs> Oh, man. Sturges. That's not you. You're the idiot who's kind of off his tits all the time. Oof, you should not be operating machinery, lady. You're the one who's always on drugs, right? Sturges. Sturges. Sturges, where you at, boy? You sleeping? Oh, yeah, I put loads of sleeping bags down here as well. So that they've got some beds to sleep. Sturges, wake hey, up. Sturges. I love how in all... Bethesda games, people are not the slightest bit crabby about being woken up. You can just walk him, wake him up, start a conversation. Someone just woke me up, start talking shit, I would bash them over the head, I'll tell you what. Work. Uh, what do you need? What kind of help do you need? Well, for starters, we could Oop. use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Why do you need my help to build beds? Look, exactly. we got a lot on our plate. I'm the sniper here. We've run for weeks. We need food. Water, shelter, you name it. Well, you asked how you could help. I told you. Did you mean it or not? Do I look like a carpenter to you? <laughs> I don't know what you look like. You said you were willing to help. Making beds is what we need help with. All right, let's I stop being a sake bastard. Okay, good deal. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Yeah. Give me a holler if you need anything. Uh, wait, are you asking for beds? You have a bed. There's a sleeping bag right here. <laughs> Build sheltered beds for sanctuary. 100%. Build sheltered beds for... What? I've already done it. Screw you, Sturges. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't no carpenter. I'm a snapping machine. Oh, yeah, that's the point. I should look at my perk chart, shouldn't I? Oh, I can level up. All right. Yeah, I bought this perk, Gunslinger, because... I want this character to be, to be very good with weapons. I want him to be a sniper kind of thing. I, want, I don't want to get in there up close and personal with the ghouls and stuff, because I've seen those. Those are scary. <laughs> I want to basically snipe from afar. Commando, that'd be a good one to have. Requires agility too. Is agility not too? I'm still a little confused as to how this thing works. I will be honest. Um, ooh, rifleman. I want that. Yeah! Rifles now do 20% more damage, yes. That's what I want. I basically want to run this character very... I love sniping, I love being long range, and I love I love the hacking and stuff. So that's where I kind of want to make this guy, is some sort of hacker cracker, but he's got a sniper. <laughs> the reason I love the hacking in this game, in the Fallout universe, is... In Skyrim, there's only really sneaking around to get into places because of the time period. There's obviously no hacking, but in this game, hacking offers you something different rather than just sneaking around. So I kind of like to get involved with that a little, uh, a little more. That's why I like the hacking. Anyway, um, I've already bring up. I've already explored, explored a little of this top left corner around Vault One Eleven. Uh, I found a couple of raiders. I uh, found a couple of ghouls who were sort of laying on the ground and sort of jumped up at me going, Ooga Booga Booga. <laughs> I also found a very creepy man who had a dog with him. Um, I don't know if he's hostile or not. I kind of spotted him with my sniper scope and I just shot at him because he looked like a raider. <laughs> I don't know if he's hostile or not. I shot him, I killed him, killed his dog. Went up to the little shed thing he was sort of sleeping in and he had like a dead woman there. I'm like, wow, this dude's creepy, ain't he? Probably a good thing I killed him. Anyway, let's go back through the town of... What's this place called? Concord. That's it. I said I went back through and explored some of the houses over the um, western part of town. Well, west is where... Looking at it, I 
guess technically if this is north, then it's yeah, no, it's the northern part of town then over there. Went and explored that, that's where I found some more guns. I think I've explored everything in this town. There might be one or two buildings that have something to do. I don't know. Oh, here's the uh, the big death claw. Finally stopped uh, twitching, the little bastard. Oh, that's it. It's Concord Speakeasy. I don't think I... I don't think I explored this place. I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, I want a different weapon. No, three is my laser musket. I don't want that. Shotgun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shotgun. Oh, no, I have explored this place. Yep, I remember. Never mind. <laughs> Let's go back out to Commonwealth. For some reason, every time I see the word Commonwealth, I think of, I read it in the in like Morgan Freeman's voice because uh, of the movie Bruce Almighty. Morgan Morgan Freeman says the word Commonwealth. <laughs> I'm sure I've seen. I'm sure I've heard it said by many other people uh, in other movies and well, basically anything else. But that's just always what comes to mind. I always think of Morgan Freeman saying. Um, that was just, like, that was just Buffalo from something street to Commonwealth. Commonwealth. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what's down here? Who does a, uh oh, they're goals. They're goals. Let's take them out. Oh. Did I not get him? I got the first one. Come on, boy. Oh, these are, These are a lot more, a lot stronger than I expected. Go get them, dog meat. Oh, holy shit! Ah! 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 Load your gun faster, boy. We took one down. Oh man. Slap fire. Oh. I uh, I thought the first sniper round took out one of them because I saw two. Oh, it did. Wait. I saw two of them round that fire pit. I sniped one. I thought I tagged him in the head, so I thought I killed him. But then no, there was two coming anyway. Oh my god. No. <laughs> I thought it was very funny for you. Oh, did I take him out, or is that just like one of the ones that spawned here? Yes, yeah, take all of this stuff. This is like freshly spawned. Because I've come to this little car park place before, and there was a couple of those, like, skinless dog things. Yeah, and, and all these people are here now, with some feral ghouls around. That's cool. I like how this is very organic. Uh, the map just sort of changes. People come in and go in areas you've already been in. I, li I love that. I really do love that. I'm excited to get back into this game, to be honest. it's um, I've kind of put it off, and I shouldn't have. Oh, but yeah. We've only got one sniper on there, so we're going to put that down and pull out the laser musket. Actually, no. We're going in close quarters places. I want a shotgun. <laughs> I feel like it was doing damage to those goals, even though... It took quite a few rounds. Maybe that's just because I'm bad. I'm a bad shot with it. Oh, anyway. <laughs> that's, um, oh, there's the place. There's that settlement that Preston asked us to help out. I suppose we'll go there, actually, yeah. Start exploring. Oh, I see another... Burned out caravan park. Let's try and sneak up to this area. We've oh, discovered thicket excavations. Goody. Let's see. Any hostiles? I don't want any more ghouls. Those things are really scary. Those are things are really quick. Oh, there's a guy over there. 
he doesn't look like a raider. He's not really wearing anything menacing. You can kind of spot the raiders a mile off because they're like wearing... They don't like they've come straight out of the set of Mad Mike's. They're like wearing like a gimp suit with like spikes. <laughs> Whereas friendly people kind of don't wear that shit, you know? So let's explore this area a little. Let's pull up my shotgun in case, uh, in case these people turn out not to be friendly. Excuse me. Oh, my. Oh, this place looks cool. Oh, I like that. Oh, man. This oh, this looks like something I want to build in Minecraft. Like a big quarry. With, I love the stairs going up like that. Man, that's, that's pretty cool. Oh, the music's kicking into high gear. Taboo tattoos. Permanently unlocking a fish tattoo. Oh, sweet. Oh yeah, there's like some collectible comics or something in this game, isn't there? Is that what that was? Well, it was clearly wasn't a comic, but... I've learned to take every single item in the game, by the way, because... <laughs> all this crap is actually useful. It's, uh, you pretty much... I like how you break things down for their core elements, like... That desk fan, um, I can actually use it because I'll, I'll use the screws in it to create some upgrades from a gun, and that's so cool. I love that. Because it makes sense, you know? Gwyneth Pilsa bottle, a tibia. Wait, isn't that a bone? A tibia? Isn't that... Oh, okay, let's... let's unlock this thing. I love doing this in Skyrim, the lockpick. I got, like, 100 lockpicking. <laughs> let's just take it all. Sugar bombs, take... I can't. Sure. Desk fan, take... That still worked? Did you see that? Uh, tool case, yeah. Let's pickpocket it. Like I said, I want to be more of a hacker rather than a actual physical go in there and break open a lock, but I'm not just going to leave this around alone. There's loot here. I'm a gamer, I get yes. the loot. Short pipe revolver rifle. Uh, 45 rounds, uh, 38 rounds of my pipe pistol, that's the, that's my thingy pistol, isn't it, the starter pistol I got, no, that's a 10 mil, oh, what's a 45 round then, short pipe revolver rifle, oh yeah, it's the 308 round that's from my sniper, yeah, yeah, short pipe revolver rifle, what's, what's that then, is that what I've already got, um, Mine is a pipe bolt action sniper rifle. Oh, it's basically, I think it's basically just a revolver that someone stuck a big stock on the end of. I think. Yeah, because it's got nowhere near the range of my sniper rifle. Yeah, I think it's just a, a, a revolver. It's just a pistol. Let's hack this thing. <clears throat> uh, shipment log. <sighs> sure. Eject holotape Solly's journal. Oh, first I want to read this. Uh, do I really want to read this? I feel like some of these could be, like, hints to a password. Let's play it. Loading holotape. Solly's log. Who's Solly? This is a great spot. With the right crew, with the right crew, I'd have no problem keeping this place locked down. Traders run close enough for easy pickings, but not so close that we end up skinned. The whole damn thing's filled with water, though. Figures, there's always a catch. Big ass, drain big ass drainage pump. Looks modestly intact. If I'm lucky, it still might work. Gonna take a close look tomorrow. Is this before the war or after? Nope, not gonna be that easy. Still, pump is in better shape than you think. I'd like to head back and grab some tools, but it's pretty late. I'll tinker with it before I bed down tonight and head out in the morning. I think, yeah, this is after the war. I'm not sure. Mm. Gives us the uh, day and month, well, not the year. Shouldn't be too hard now. Glad I grabbed that sledge, even if it was a bitch to carry all this way. Thing was rusted tight. A few good bites of the sledge cleared up, problem like up. Thing made the damnedest sound each time, though. You'd swear something was moving around in there. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> was able to make most of the connections. Patched up the pipe leaks I could find, besides ones in the water. All the noises I've been hearing, I'm not setting foot in there. I'll probably head back and drag out one of the new guys over here and make him do it. And what is the chances, well, what are the chances, rather, 
I'm going to take that one, that's it. I don't know why, just take it. What are the chances that that guy is the guy we saw over here a second ago, and he's going to make me go in and clear this place out? Sully Mathis. What do you know? <sighs> I suspect he's going to make me go in there and clear out some monsters. <laughs> I don't want to. But uh, we're actually going to leave that for next time. We're going to talk to Sully next time. He doesn't really seem too bothered that we're here, to be honest. Even though I kind of look kind of freaky. I'd be a little freaked out if this guy came near me. <laughs> yeah, we're going to check that out next time. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode of Fallout 4. Which won't be too long because I'm getting back into it. <laughs> see you next time. Bye-bye.